Hold here. Hold here. Hold here. Hold here. Hold here. Hold here. You starting to see the picture? Hold down. This is why I only said two or three. Because I can't talk to you. Okay. And hold up here. Okay. Would you rotate your head to the right? Hmm? Hold here. Hold here. Hold here. No way. Hold up here. I'm just doing it because it's a show. <laughs> That's why. In the testing, hold up here. I actually use handheld dynamometers because the very first thing an athlete says to me, I got it. You're selling your deal. You're pulling harder on one side than the other. And it's like, I, no, I don't think so. But I'm a skeptic. I'll put the, the handheld dynamometers on and let's see if I am. Because if I am, I don't want to show somebody something that's a game. Okay? Now, here's the problem. If he's a right-handed batter, okay, and you are, good, and he turns to the left, he's good to go, right? Because neurologically, he's synchronized on a gross level. If he was a switch hitter and turned the opposite way, he's got a major problem. Because now he has two problems. When you rotate the head, you have tonic neck reflexes, right? And when you have tonic neck reflexes, one of the things that happens in the correlation between the head, the neck, and the ex upper extremity is the brain doesn't track position of the elbow properly. It tends, when you rotate towards the lead shoulder, to undershoot the position, which means the brain thinks the elbow is higher than it really is. And the opposite shoulder.